Hi, this is Chris from Mobile Tech Addicts. Just want to have a quick look at the input methods on the HTC Touch HD and uh, how it works. We're going to fire up Microsoft Office for this. I don't remember how you do it. <laughs> Obviously, start straight in Office here. And fire up Microsoft Word. And what we'll do is we'll start with the stock HTC QWERTY keyboard. This one's actually the uh, SPB one, so I'll just change that. Full QWERTY, that's what we want. Going to type a couple of sentences to show you how it all works. As you can see, when you press the actual keys here, the uh, it's highlighted. The keys highlight around it. So it's very hard to see underneath your finger. Obviously, you can see clearly at this angle. But looking from above, as if you were typing on, it wouldn't be so easy. Easy, but because of the screen, it is quite easy to type. And to be honest, I haven't typed a great deal on it. And I, I think with a bit of practice, you can actually type a lot, lot faster than I can. So it's not too bad an option. Unfortunately, uh, oops, I just uh, closed that off by mistake. The uh, tilt sensor doesn't work with Office or email or very many programs that I've found. Although you can install a utility called GSEN, which will make the uh, the screen automatically rotate the landscape in any application. So definitely worthwhile getting that application because it's a shame because this device would be great if it just worked out of the box in that way. Right, SPB keyboard. This is the latest version, SPB keyboard four. Nice, clear, qwerty. I don't know whether you can pick that up on the screen, but when you actually press the buttons here, they actually uh, tab up above them the number, so you, the letter, so you can see exactly what you're typing, exactly the same as how the iPhone works. Again, there were no clicks, no feedback at all. Like I could see, I, I didn't check the settings. I mean, maybe I might be able to switch something like that on, but I found this keyboard I'm way easier to use than the HTC. Probably can't tell by the way I'm typing on here, but it is a much clearer and easier to use keyboard. And because of the letters pop up above you, it's easy to see what you're typing. I'll give you an example of that in a second after I've finished here. Like the spell. Uh, it's hard to see that, but the, the do lift above your finger and looking from above you can see it very easy that you press the right key. Alright, let's have a look at the compact QWERTY. Similar to a Blackberry keyboard, i.e. two letters per key. Takes a bit of getting used to this one. It's not something that I like at all. In fact, I find it very, very fiddly. But again, people who've used the Black Bashir type keyboards do get used to them, so you probably could get used to it a lot. Pretty quickly, anyway. That's enough of that one. Just put a question mark in the end there. Oops. So let's have a look at the phone keypad, it's obviously just like a standard numeric keypad where you're pressing the key a number of times to get the letters. I probably do quite well on this one <laughs> obviously I spent a lot of my younger days typing on these, typing text messages out. I could never go back to the actual phone keyboard keypad again. I'd find it very difficult to use. Obviously, it's a lot slower this way. Oh, I don't know why anybody want to use this, but I'm showing you it anyway. Excellent. And the final one we'll have a look at is the uh, let's have a look. The normal HTC Windows Mobile keyboard, rather not HTC. The keys are way too small to type. Uh, you can just do them very, very delicately in the space bar. It's right next to the actual key for the keyboard, so it keeps knocking the keyboard down. But it's uh, it's not too bad. But it's, it's not. It's obviously stylus based. This one rather than anything else. So not one I'd recommend to use with your fingers. For me, the uh, the best keyboard I've used on this so far is the SPB keyboard version four, which has just come out, and you can download a trial, 30 day trial. We reviewed it the other day on the on Mobile Tech Addicts. So uh, that's just a quick look at the keyboards that are available on the uh, 
HTC Touch HD. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to visit the site mobiletechaddicts.com. Thank you.